we're going to be making a quick tutorial um, to teach you guys how to make our everything signs um, with a permanent icon instead of an interchangeable icon. Okay? So basically to make it look like this, so the icon is permanent. Okay? And I really like uh, this idea because it gives, still gives your customer a lot of ability to customize their sign based on their preference. Okay? And that's one of the reasons we have our, our marketing materials here for you. So it allows the customer to choose a sign that they like and the different color options. And then it also allows them to choose an icon that they like to make it permanent. Okay? And we also have the other icons from the first one available as well. Okay? So a customer might pick a bar and grill and they might choose a bar and grill icon. Uh, to be permanent uh, so they might pick something like this to go along with their bar and grill and you want that permanently in there and not have the ability to interchange that okay so with this tutorial I'm going to teach you guys how to to do that okay so stay tuned the first one I'm going to show you is Illustrator then we're going to jump to Silhouette and then in Inkscape okay so the first program we're going to look at is Adobe Illustrator um, what I have in front of me is the uh, one of the main designs, which is the welcome sign. Um, and I opened up two different icons, okay, one of the letters and then one of the um, one of the other icons, which is the apple here. Okay, so the first thing we're going to want to do on the main uh, sign is you're going to want to select just with the regular uh, selection tool, select that uh, cutout, the first one there which would be the cutout for the icon. So once that's selected, all you're going to do is press delete. So when that's deleted, if you were to print this like this, it would just print a solid piece of wood now in this area. So what we're going to do is we're going to add uh, these two icons into that area now. Okay. So let's look at the apple first. Uh, the way this was set up is it has a blue off cut, right? So in Illustrator selection tool, all you want to do is click that blue line hit delete again and then you're going to be left with this and it's still going to be one object so it's all grouped together so from here you could either drag this in to that tab and let go and it's going to pull the whole icon or you could press control C or command C if you're using a Mac and that's going to copy it to the clipboard alternatively you could go to edit at the top and you could drop down to copy and that's basically just copying this this graphic Click on your welcome tab where you have that main sign and all you want to do is you want to paste it in paste. Okay, so edit at the top, paste, it's going to paste it or you could hit control V and it's going to paste it again or command V if you're using a Mac. Okay, so once you have that pasted, all you want to do is just drag it to the center and what's nice about Illustrator is it tells you your center points and everything. So that's basically it. Now that you have that icon in there, that's going to be uh, uh, permanent. It's not going to be cut out. So you can see where it connects to that main design in this area and at the top here. So there's three connection points. Okay. Alternatively, you could stretch this out and make it bigger. And you guys could be the judge on what looks best. Because um, at this point, it's all aesthetics. Um, so that would be like a larger apple in that space, right? And that completely eliminates it being interchangeable and now it's permanent, okay? Okay, so let's delete that and let's look at this letter, okay? Because the letter is going to function a little bit differently because it's grouped all together and there's no uh, blue offcut line, which isn't a problem. Uh, best way to do it, in my opinion, is click the direct uh, selection tool and click that outside line, okay? Once you're on that line, all you got to do is press delete delete again and it's going to take away that line okay switch back to the selection tool click on it it's going to be the same as before where it's just one object and again you could drag it into that main design or you could copy it so edit copy go back to here edit paste right and then you just want to place it back into the center and again, if you like, you can make it a little bit bigger. Find that uh, center point. 
And there you go. So all you got to do now is save this, press to file, save as, save it as an SVG, and then when you import it into uh, your your uh, software, it's going to load that and it's going to be a permanent icon, okay? The next program I'm going to show you is uh, Silhouette, okay? Okay, so now welcome to uh, Silhouette, uh, Studio Business Edition. Uh, I'm going to show you how to quickly edit the uh, everything signs to make that icon permanent um, instead of the interchangeable one, okay? So we opened up uh, one of the signs here. Let's go ahead and we'll open up um, one of the icons. So I'm just choosing a random one here. So we'll pick one of the barbecue ones. So now that we have this open, you'll see that this one has uh, the blue release cut on the outside. All you have to do is click that blue release cut, press delete. Okay, so that's gone now. Okay. If you go back to your welcome sign, you'll see that this is the area that it's supposed to cut. And that's where the icon um, is placed. So we could go back to that and all we want to do is click that area, hit delete, and then that's gone. So now that we have this that doesn't have that outside cut line, all we want to do is we would just want to copy this. So you could go edit, copy, or you could hit control C or command C on your, your keyboard. So now that that's copied to the clipboard, go back to your welcome sign here, just with the tabs on the top. And if you go uh, edit, you can just paste it and it's going to paste that icon back in that we just edited and uh, just find the center point here. And that's basically it. Now it's going to cut um, without that outside ring on it. Um, additionally, you could scale this a little bit larger. So just click it and then drag and just find that center point. Let's go left a little bit and then there you go. So I just made that icon a little bit larger so it fits a little bit nicer inside there. Um, and now that icon is permanent. And all you got to do is file, save as an SVG or additionally make some extra edits here to include the, the family name. Um, and then there you go. Um, there is one other thing. So we'll go back to the icons. And we're just going to look at the letters quickly because the letters are set up a little differently. And I'm going to show you what I mean. So let's open up uh, one here. And you'll see that blue release cut isn't on this one, okay? So these ones here, they're grouped together. So if I click on it, the whole thing's going to move. So just a quick way to, to go about this is you want to isolate that outside line. So what you could do is just double click on it. So now you're in um, an isolation mode and you can see the, the nodes. So all you got to do is click one section press delete and then just keep hitting delete and I'll delete it all the way around okay and then it's gonna work the same way so now that that's gone it's just this part control C or edit copy go back to your welcome sign we could delete this barbecue one and then we're just going to go ahead and paste that other one into place and there we go there's the Z and we could scale that bigger. And this part's all depending on how you like it and, and the aesthetics. And that's it. So now that that's in place, all you gotta do is press file, um, save as, and just save it as a new file. And you're good to go to import it. Okay, next I'll show you Inkscape, thanks. Okay, so now we're in Inkscape and we're gonna look at how to remove that cutout for the icon and then replace it with a permanent icon instead. Um, this is for the, the everything signs. Uh, so let's go ahead, we have the main sign here. I'm just gonna click on that little cutout for the icon and it's gonna look like that. All you gotta do is press delete and now that's deleted. So if you were to import this now, it would just create something solid here. So now we got to replace that with um, with the icon. Um, so let's go to uh, an icon. I have some opened up here. Inkscape doesn't work in uh, tabs for whatever reason, um, so we'll we'll just flip between them. So we have the uh, icon here. So all you got to do for this one with the blue outline is click on it, press delete, and you're going to be left with 
uh, the icon looking like that. Once you have that, just re-click on it. And you'll see that it's going to be one solid piece. So all we want to do is copy that into the other one. You can drag and drop it as well, but for the sake of this video, I'm just using the copy feature. So edit at the top, copy, or you could go on your keyboard and press Control C, or if you have a Mac, Command C. Um, so now that that's copied onto the clipboard, just go back into your sign here. And you want to hit Control V, or you want to go edit and then paste. And then it's going to paste them, okay? So now that we have that, all you want to do is throw that back into uh, where that icon should go. And that's pretty much it. You could scale this as well if you like. And you could recenter it. Um, and that's that's pretty much it. So when you, once you have that done, that icon is now going to print as a permanent icon. Um, so if you want to do a per, like a permanent uh, uh, books and Apple or the Apple for a teacher sign where they don't interchange it, that's perfectly fine. And uh, you could go about it that way. Um, for the letters, I'm going to just show you the letters quickly. Let's minimize that one. So now we have a letter here. It doesn't have that blue outline. Um, I may go back and I may update these letters just to have the blue outline because it's easier to manipulate them. So once you're in here, um, you'll see that because there's no uh, layer for that blue outline, it's just going to be one layer. So all we have to do is we can double click on it to get those nodes. And uh, you could go around and you can just delete the nodes like this. Takes a little bit longer, but Inkscape, I don't think, has an easier way. And it's pretty quick. It takes a couple seconds. So then once you're done with that, uh, it's going to look like this, right? And then that's one object. So all you got to do is hit Control-C, Command-C on a Mac, or Edit, Copy. So once that's copied, you can go back same way as we just did it, back to your welcome sign. Um, just delete that other one, control V to get that letter back in. Um, you could scale it if you like again. And then you could just uh, center it up. I'm just using the uh, directional pad on my keyboard to find the center and that looks good to me left the little one okay there we go so once you have that all you got to do is file save save as and you could save it as a new svg file and then you drag that into your Goldforge app and it's going to cut this all as one uh, piece not an in interchangeable icon okay if you have any questions uh, you can leave them down in the comments or you can find us on facebook uh, be sure to join our community on Facebook uh, for a lot of great, uh, helpful and useful tips. And you get to see what everyone's creating from Homestyle Customs. And it's just an overall great community. Uh, so I'd love to chat with you there. And thank you very much.